Welcome to Good Mythical More. Look at these flags. Flags represent countries, and we are about to match these countries to s what? Customs. Customs. Everybody. What type of customs? Why I mean, is everybody so into red, blue, and white for flags? I mean, like, well, red, it goes what's back the deal, to, guys? It goes back to maritime communications. So you can be yeah. seen on the water? It's gotta be visible in the... Okay, what about orange, yellow? Blue, the, the, the water's blue. You don't want blue in your flag? Maritime man? It disappears, so in contrast, it's like, it, it actually turns black. But first, we're gonna play What's the Word? We, de we, we, des we guess the definition of a word. Yeah. Today's word is cacorophobia. Cacorophobia. Well, obviously, it's the fear of Cacorophia. Cacorophio. K A K. Cacorophio. Cacora sounds like a uh, like a character in something that I don't watch. You know, like Legend of Cacora. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Um, but Fio is what does that mean in Latin? Because Fio is uh, Fio, like, well, no, that's love? Not love, brother, brother. Because phileo is brotherly love. Mm -hmm. I paid attention to Sunday school. <laughs> really? <laughs> Agape is unconditional love. So this is the this is loving something that you're afraid of. It's afraid of loving Kokora. No, I think Theo. I think it's a brother. I think it's afraid of brothers named Kokora. It's a. I think it's the fear of killing your brother. The fear of being killed by your brother. Okay. Uh, nope, just the fear of failure. That's quite a long word. Uh, being killed by your brother would be a failure. Cacorophobia. Y'all need to come up with simpler words. All right, let's start with our first custom. Ironically, cacorophobia is the one thing that can keep you from success. Ironically. Here in the US, we tend to avoid cemeteries unless absolutely necessary. <coughs> uh -huh. But in this particular country, cemeteries are converted into areas for socializing. These cemeteries are well taken care of and are often filled with people during warm, sunny days. So, so people party and picnic in cemeteries. Okay, I believe Never been to Greece. We should pick- Never been to a lot of these uh, Nicaragua, Nicaragua? Because in Latin American countries, there's often an association with like, um, it, their relationship with the dead is different than it is in a lot of other countries. And so- A lot of prolonged like, parties. There's, there's ancestors, there's sort of like, they're, they're, their ancestors are kind of sticking around with them culturally and like, hey, let's go hang out with them in a way in the, I don't see that happen in these other countries. So I you feel know, pretty good about Nicaragua here. You know what, I was gonna say the exact same thing. Okay, good. Thanks for, for saving my breath. Go, you know, go like this. Yeah, there was a hair there that I, it bothered me. Oh, I thought that was a new symbol. You were trying to, you were trying out a new greeting. This country has a few dilemmas on its hands. Declining birth rates, an unequal proportion of women to men, and a short lifespan for men. 73 years old. <laughs> so the men are 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 going away. In an, Lots of women, huh? In an attempt to fix some of these issues, the government instituted a, pu a public holiday, September 12th, called the Day of Conception. This holiday gives couples time off work in order to get it on, so to speak. Parents wow. whose babies are born exactly nine months later can even win prizes for helping to keep the bloodline going. So they're trying to boost the population of this country? I know Greece had a lot of uh, Political turmoil, but I don't yeah. believe it was related to low for like low birth rates. Um, Lack of men. Wow, 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 wow. When we went to Australia, I, I, I saw lots of men. Yeah. This is not Australia. I mean, what, have we not heard of a place where there's not that many men? And they would have a day of conception? Wow, I mean. I mean, I, this, I have, the whole, I, I don't declining, know to, de, de, when I think of a declining birth rate, the most like news worthy country is Japan because they're talking about that. They've been talking about that for 
a couple of decades, but Japan is not a choice. Um, That's just because they're, they're, they're interested in other things. It's not because there's less men than women. What's happening to the men? I mean, you got Denmark and Norway. I don't see Denmark like, and Norway having a, low, a short lifespan for, for, for men. I see that maybe happening in Russia. I would think that the quality of life is continuing to go up in these Scandinavian countries. And I may be over the, generalizing. There's an interesting Scandinavian thing here. Now, but. Uh, they incentive, holiday, okay, so. A day of conception. Even win prizes for helping to keep the bloodline going. Like keeping bloodlines going. It's like, what is it? It's like they want, they're really into bloodlines. That may have been a, a just a choice by the writer who wrote this up. I don't know if you might be reading too much in that, but where would that lead you? Russia. Okay, well, really into bloodlines. That was where I was gonna go anyway, so. All right. right. In this particular country, it is common to point with the lips instead of the thumb or index finger. Point with In the lips. In fact, pointing with your fingers is considered rude. Now, this is not how happening you, you in Norway or Denmark. You point with your lips? Been to Australia, that's too much. Didn't see a lot of men pointing their lips. I feel like Greece is calling my name here because I feel like Switzerland, Norway, Denmark, and Australia they, are all a little bit but, too familiar cultures. Yeah, but listen, Switzerland, they don't like to ruffle feathers. They don't want to get in the middle of anything. They don't want to offend anybody by pointing. That's I, pretty extreme. I, so they're just going to... No, no, I'm good friends with a Swiss person who said that it's much more like... They like to... He points a lot? Yeah, he, he's pointed out several things to me. Not with his lips. Never with his lips. Okay, fine. So you're. I mean, I may be wrong, but he's never done that. And he also says that you'd be surprised at how much Switzerland is sort of like Feisty. America. Like everyone has a gun. By law, every house has a rifle. By law? Yes, in Switzerland. Wow. What do they do? Dipping in fondue? I think it's you know they're a neutral country, but every man is supposed to be ready to like fight in case they have to. Well, then so, what, But it's Greece? totally different gun culture. It's not like they're going around shooting each other like we do in America, but everybody has a gun. So, and they point those guns at somebody. I mean, <laughs> not with their lips. So I think that's Greece. Greece, a beautiful land. I'd love to, I'd love to hang I out I would there. love to go there. Lots I'd love of to islands. hang out there. That thing on Instagram. I'm gonna go to Mykonos. Yeah, that place on Instagram with all the, the, the nice white buildings next to the beach. Greece. Yeah. No, there's a specific place that everyone on Instagram takes a picture, and it might be what you just said. I don't Mykonos. Know. It's probably not said that way, but this particular country has something just called... Just because I said it that way, he's saying it's probably not said that way. <laughs> has something called honesty shopping, where you can buy fresh produce and dairy products from unattended shops. Most of the day, no one watches these shops because the farmers that own them are out taking care of the animals, so all you do is leave your money behind in a little basket, and surprisingly, this form of consumer trust results in customer loyalty and honesty among the communities there. It also tanks the economy, Greece. I don't think this is happening in, I don't think this is Greece. I think this is no, uh, Denmark, Norway. Norway, or Switzerland. I, this let's happens go with in, Norway. The, in the country here as well, what? like the little farmer shops. In Virginia. Yeah. I got better things to do, and it's, I'm going to guilt you into not stealing from me. I feel like it might be Switzerland. Like, believing the best in people. It reminds me of, like, trick-or-treating when it's like if somebody just puts out the candy. You see what happens around here when you do that. You just got an empty container. <laughs> I mean, it could be Denmark, Norway, or Switzerland, but... I don't know how to differentiate between Denmark and Norway. Sorry. I mean, one of them... I mean, look at their flags. They're even the same flag, yeah, except like for like a darker stripe through. At least Switzerland went with a square flag. I feel like this might be Switzerland because I'm thinking about all the beautiful like hills Guns. with the sheep on them oh. and stuff. You know, it's like, oh, I got to go out on this mountain. This it, it's fine. Just plus, they know that at any second the guy can show up with a gun. Right. Everybody's got a gun. I'm not going to take his stuff. Yeah. Everybody's got That's a gun. That's logic. We know the tooth fairy here in the U.S., but in this yep. country, children are told to toss their lost tooth onto their roof. This tradition is meant for the child to have a healthy tooth as long, as well as to bring good luck to the family. So you throw your lost tooth onto the roof. So this is a place that has tooth roofs. Denmark's got, a, you know, I, there's lots of 
like wicked fairy Sadist, tales sad, sadistic flying stuff. around in Denmark. That tracks with me. It did kind of seems like that goes along with it. That tracks with me. Here in the US, we're used to sitting in the back when we take ride shares or taxi cabs, but in this particular country, it is considered snobbish to sit in the back. Citizens often sit up front with a taxi driver. Whether this has changed with COVID is TBD. Uh, Pre-COVID, I definitely do this. Every, every time I would get in, a car, get in a lift, I will get in the front seat. I will ask. Do you mind if I sit in the front seat? But you do it because you don't want to get car sick. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's my reason. But yeah, but it's, then uh, you got to have a conversation with the person. No, I still don't. <laughs> I'm going to sit in the front. I'm not no. going to talk. Don't to worry, you. I won't. I won't speak to you. Do you say I'm going to sit in the front because I get car sick? Because I, I usually it's been so long now since I've really road share. But I was I'm like do you, I think I'm just like do you mind if I sit in the front? I don't, I don't feel the need to explain myself. I'm the customer. Yeah, but th I would think that they take that as a hint, like, yeah, I love it when people sit in the front. What you, what do you do for a living? Not talk to you. And then you're like, mm, I don't answer this question. Yeah. I make corporate videos, is what you told one guy. One yeah. <laughs> it's like, how do I describe my, vi my job in the most uninteresting way to stop the conversation? <laughs> I make corporate videos. <laughs> He's not wrong. Yeah, Google's a corporation. Uh, and so is mythical entertainment, <laughs> by the way. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this corporation makes videos. I have on a t shirt. Speaking what of that, that say? front seat taxi. You like this sleek, simple, and stylish mythical shirt? We call it the mythical minimalist, minimalist collection. Yeah, we got t shirts, hoodies, and even joggers available to flex the maximum amount of mythical minimal, 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 minimal minimalism. Shop the collection now at mythical.com. I like it. Sleek. Yeah. Uh, is this Australia? That uh, feels, I mean, we took several Ubers in Australia when we were there. And I mean, I know if Christy and I are there, one of us is getting that front seat. So we wouldn't have learned anything. We wouldn't have and learned we were, Oh, they understand the custom. Yeah. So let's lock in on this. Oh wait, Christy, also likes the front seat? All the Neils. If they could all be in the front oh. seat stacked on top of each other, they would, but it's gotta be one of them. That's yeah, a because problem. Uh, yeah, it runs in the blood. Both sides of the family get car sick sitting in the back seat with somebody else driving. Like, you know me, I, I have a hard time going anywhere with anybody else driving. I thought you could just end that sentence after anybody else. Um, <laughs> I like to be with people as long as I'm the one driving. Uh, Table manners are very important. I can tolerate your driving. I don't have a problem with your driving. I'm a smooth driver. I don't have any problem. I, I, I approve of your driving. I'm fine with riding with you. Oh, good. Well, next time you're gonna be in the back seat. <laughs> There's few people that I do, so you should really take that as a compliment. So, hey, you know what? We're pl I know we're planning a little uh, ski trip. Uh, yeah. And I'm assuming that you're gonna be driving and that there's yeah. gonna be at least two of your children in the car, one of mine. And we're going to be going up Mountain Roads. Like, how's that going to happen? Are we going to have some vomiting? Oh, I'll give them some medication. That's a good okay. point. Table manners are very important in this particular country. Where oh, even we're not done? A sandwich may be eaten with a knife and fork. A sandwich? Table manners? Um, I, I mean, right now we're just kind of stuck tough. with Norway. I don't know. Norway is like the home of the Vikings, right? Yep. I feel like we might need to go, I think we might need to do table manners back to, to, to Switzerland and do honesty shopping and, I don't know, I don't know. We're probably wrong on a lot of these, so this is probably a Let's a go with honesty shopping in Norway. And then table manners in Switzerland. My, my Swiss friend is, he, he, I've never seen him eat with his elbows on the table now that I think of it. Oh, really? Yeah. We're locked in. You know, I struggle with with helping you because sometimes I help you and everyone's like, don't help them, and we hate you, don't help. And sometimes <laughs> they enjoy that. And I, to watch you do like exactly what you just Definitely did, like a cat. it is hard for me because I want to go. Ah, oh, ah. because we messed up at the end. Yeah. Okay, all right. We so messed we, up we, at the we, end. We were right. And let's just go with Norway. Let's just, Norway's, Norway's, <laughs> Norwegian people have great table men. Norway's Everybody knows that. Okay, you did, you did, 
pretty dang well. You got one, two, one, two, three, four correct. Huh. So let's go through it. So hey, that's that's uh that's over half. Um let's see. I have the order of the I'm just gonna go with customs and, and okay. Okay, that's fine. So cemeteries uh being a social place. You said that was Denmark. It's no, ac- oh, no, sorry, no, you said, said that was Nicaragua n- Nicaragua. <laughs> that's actually Denmark. Oh right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. They uh, party in cemeteries in Denmark, which t- which still ties to what we were saying about Denmark being like in our minds a little sadistic, a little twisted. You were absolutely correct with Day of Conception in Russia. Okay. Okay, that cool. That makes yeah. a See, lot of sense. Bl- keep the bloodlines going. The pointing with the lips, that's Nicaragua. Uh, okay. Is it? If we if we hadn't had already placed it with Nicaragua, that would have been the only other guess we would have pointing had. Pointing with the lips. Um, I'm going to start pointing with the lips. Please don't. I mean, if we take a trip to Nicaragua, then do it all you want to. But as long as we're here... Take a look. Take a look over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That... <laughs> Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that in my life. Yeah. Take a look over there. <laughs> that, I, I think that's actually probably how they do it more. It's like, I would be at a severe disadvantage, man. I got a small mouth and a beard that covers it up. Like, hey, man. What's I got? We don't know where, where, where he's hey, pointing. Some, you give somebody directions Watch when out. pull over watch on the side of the some, road. Something's some about to fall on you. <laughs> you. You know what? You, you you should take a solo trip to Nicaragua. <laughs> And you'll get along just fine. All right. Honesty shopping is Switzerland. Okay. And you were mm. correct about the gun laws and everything over there as well. Mm-hmm. I, oh, they fact checked you. My Swiss friend was not lying to me. See that? Uh, you know where you're headed? teeth. Down there. Is actually Greece. Greece is. <sighs> Greece is where they throw the teeth because it's the flat roofs, the flat white roofs. Yep. You put teeth up, teeth up there. Yep. No yep. one ever yep. sees them. That's, you know, that's all teeth. Uh, you can't in. tell on Instagram in. and make Mykonos. You can't tell. But yeah. it's all teeth. Front seat taxi is Australia. What? And that sandwich was, Who knew that we were customizing? Pure luck. Is Norway. So you were right on those two. Nice. Well. Table, I mean, fork and knife at the, at, the, at the sandwich. Okay, in the comments, please tell us wh- why these are not the customs in your country. <laughs> yeah. Because that's my favorite part of the internet. Mythical, but make it minimal. Shop the minimalist collection now at mythical.com.